available to me. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Somebody say hallelujah in this place. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to try this another way. We're going to try this another way. If your next hallelujah going to give you your breakthrough, I wonder how you would shout hallelujah. On three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Don't y'all, don't y'all. Yeah, don't stop so fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You build your house on worship. Yeah, yeah. Can you stay right there for a minute? Can you continue to say hallelujah? Yeah, don't just say it after I tell you to say it. Can you continue to lift him up like he's worthy, like he's made a way for you, like he's fixing it for you right now? Tell your neighbor that he's fixing it for me right now. Yeah, tell your neighbor he's fixing it for me right now. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, he's fixing it. Yeah, right now. Yeah, he's fixing it right now. You're going to have to have some faith to believe this, that God is fixing it right now. Yeah, I ain't talking about later on. I'm talking about right now. Can you give God a right now praise on them drums? Can you give God a right now praise on that? Can you give God a right now praise? Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we keep on talking about that exchange. And what he did for us, he did something different. Joe, he sent prophets. He allowed lambs and all that stuff to die. But he did something different when he wrapped himself in a body. And all of us been giving him a regular praise. I wonder, can this day you do something different for him? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah they, the DJ changing the music right now. Yes, sir. Can you do a different step? Yeah, yeah. Can you scream out to him another way right now? And not worry about who's standing beside you right now. Hallelujah! 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 Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah! 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 Shande kere na mokosata, rosha kata. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Roy, Roy, I, I, I believe, I believe we almost there. I, I, I believe since the cost of that. We about to turn the corner on Blind Bartom, Blind Bartomeu's Avenue right now. And on that road, Roy, there's some people that want us to get a little bit quiet. But if you knew who attention you're trying to get, now's the time to turn it all the way up. Because I can't afford to allow him to pass me by this Sunday. So on the count of three, I want you to turn it all the way up. One, two, three. Hallelujah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got to tell y'all what the Lord said. Y'all, y'all don't, don't sit down yet. Don't sit down yet. You, you know, Roy, you got to be able to pick up what's in the atmosphere. There's some people that feel like I came to church the wrong Sunday. They make it too much noise. But in Acts 16, there was people that were set free in the next cell because in this cell, we have decided to praise him. Yes, Y'all ain't hearing what I'm trying to tell you. Your praise yes, could set him free. Yes, His praise could set me free. 
And what I'm telling y'all right now, we can release a domino effect praise in this place right now that everybody in this place get free because we all finna release a praise up in this place. Hallelujah. I ain't gonna count this time. I ain't gonna count. You just got to go there. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to make you smile, God. Yeah, we want to make you smile with our praise today. And Father, we don't want you to just set us free. We want all those around us to get free today. We don't want you to just deliver us. We want you to deliver everybody on our, on our road today. Yeah, yeah, if you want to be delivered and want everybody on your road to be delivered, don't, don't look at them because your praise could be the deliverance today. Just wave your hand, yeah. Yeah, I want this whole house to be delivered, yeah. You may not have that faith, so, so Lord, I want this whole road to be delivered, yeah, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, God. God, I want you to touch us today, God, with your power, with your anointing, God. God, do it like never before. Hallelujah. God, be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified in this place. Yeah. Be glorified in this place. Father, we just want to say thank you right now. And God, we have high expectations of what you're about to do and what you're about to say. And Father, as I decrease, I ask you to increase. Cause your face to shine on my countenance, God. To me, into you, God. I don't need to hear nobody but you, God. Help me to move, to flow, to function in the Holy Ghost, God. That your word can have free flow, God. That it will come with word, power, and demonstration. God, we pray right now, God, that you would help us to be attentive, God. God, because you're about to assign the alarm, God. The trumpet is sounding even right now, God. You say, cry loud, God. God, we say thank you right now. God, I need your unction. And I need your fire. And it's in Jesus' name. Let us all say hallelujah. 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 Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Lord. How many of y'all glad about it? How many of y'all glad about it? Yeah, there's only a few of y'all glad about it. I'm glad about it already. Amen. How many of y'all know we serve an awesome God? That he's worthy. How many of y'all know that he's really worthy? When I start talking to you about your awesome father, I shouldn't have to prime you up every time. There's some things you ought to be able to relate to. That he's your provider. He's your savior. He's your keeper. He's your company. He's your way maker. He's your comforter. He's your healer. He's your peace. Is he all that to you? Mm -hmm. Let us go to uh, a very familiar book, uh, Nehemiah. Uh, chapter 6, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, I was, I, it's, this is not uh, something not the Bible, 
but I really do believe that at, in new levels, there's new devils. A amen. Amen. I, I do believe as we grow uh, that the opposition that you face gets stronger. Amen. Y'all don't want to talk right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a sign of growth that the battle will intensify. How many of y'all dealing with some battles right now? I guess it's about nine or ten of y'all. I, I want to know how many of y'all are really dealing with some battles right now and that you know that you're fighting with the devil right now. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you are dealing with uh, demonic activities right now. Yeah, you're not, you're not praying for headaches and stuff and you're told you're dealing with spiritual warfare right now. Mm -hmm. how, how many of y'all know that what you're dealing with right now uh, comes straight from hell? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell your kids that pastor ain't cussing. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, what you're dealing with right now is evil. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, everything uh, ain't always going to make you shout. Some stuff going to make you drop and pray. Mm -hmm. and, and the news that I may have to alert you with is that that what you're dealing with, uh, the enemy went and talked to the Lord about it and asked, do I have permission to bother with them for a little while? Tell your neighbors just for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, Roy, these ain't the kind of messages we like to hear. Uh, we want to turn around and hear about favor and breakthrough, but you're going to get a breakthrough, but you got to win this battle. Amen. Yeah, I don't believe that the Lord is going to fight every battle. There's going to be some stuff we got to deal with. Amen. Uh, the Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. And, and, and John tells me all that is in the world is the, uh, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of what? Somebody talk to me. The pride of life, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of what? These things right here. Uh, those gates. Somebody say those gates those avenues amen uh yeah, yeah. and, and i want to share some which i don't want uh nobody to jump up and and try to fool me and tell me that they're dealing with a devil or, or that they the devil himself uh, but don't expect the devil to come in here with a shirt on or with no pitch for it so you can identify him amen so i pray that you're not sitting beside <laughs> a devil this morning. Amen. Amen. Don't don't get quiet. You yeah, you can still talk. They ought not get mad if they ain't the devil. Amen. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so we are in Nehemiah uh six today. Uh I thank God for the praise and worship. Amen. How many of y'all thank God for the praise and worship? You know, the Bible tells me that praise is an arrow in the enemy's neck. Amen. So, y'all don't know. Y'all don't release some arrows this morning. Amen. Nehemiah uh, uh, chapter 6. Uh, I don't have a title. Amen. But by the time the Lord get through, you'll have you some notes and some nuggets that you might make up your title. Amen. Uh, this happens to be my uh, favorite book in the Bible, amen. Uh, we were in this book, and uh, I don't know how we got out of the book, but it's okay. Uh, we're here this morning, amen. Uh, and, and as I was seeking the Lord since yesterday and uh, all throughout the day and early this morning, uh, I, I do have some good news for you uh, uh, that we are on time with the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. 
how many of y'all know that it's good to be on time and in time with the Lord? Amen. Uh, and we also need to understand the times that we're in. Y'all better wake up. Uh, yeah, the Bible in First Chronicles 12, 28, it talked about the sons of Issachar that had understanding of the times. Amen. Uh, so we need not only to know that there's a time and there's a season to every purpose under the heaven, but we need to understand that time and that season that we're in. Amen. Uh, and, and in this book of Nehemiah, uh, as many times I've read it for personal uh, usage, uh, this is a great leadership book. It's a book that you can use for anything. Uh, I don't call Nehemiah a prophet or a, a preacher, nothing like that, but Nehemiah can give us some uh, nuggets that we can apply to life. Amen. A lot of life application. Uh, he was somebody that prayed. Amen. Uh, and as I was uh, reading it, uh, the Lord began to roar and make very, very plain to me uh, that we are right on time. Yeah, Randy, uh, is that Ice Cube and said the entertainer that's, that the movie, are we there yet? Uh, am I right? Yeah. Hey, amen. You know, a lot of times that's that's our concern, when God, when God, not yet, but but we're right on time. And, and, and to help you know this, that what you're dealing with, check that off. <laughs> check, what I mean by check it off, that's a sign right there to let you know you're right on time. Mm -hmm. You don't understand it yet, but here, let me read to you. Nehemiah chapter 6, amen. Um, it said, now it came to pass when uh, Samballot and Tobiah and Geshem the Arabian and the rest of our enemies heard that I built the wall and that there was no breach therein. Though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates. <laughs> uh, then Samballot and Geshem uh, sent unto me, saying, uh, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages. You know, a village is a low place. <laughs> Roy, that'll register later on. Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages. You pick the low place and let's just meet there. In the plain of honor, but they thought to do me mischief. And I sent messengers unto them saying, I am doing uh, a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease? Why should I leave it and come down? Just Tell me, why should I stop doing what I'm doing to come feed your sickness? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't push me too early, Sister Constance. Yeah. Sister Constance, say, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can force her right now. Let me tell you how I can force her. Um, let me tell you what kind of assaults we're dealing with right now. Uh, you're dealing with... Uh, uh, tongue assaults right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, so, so I know you ain't never been on the scroll up there in Mulberry with us, but, but there was something we learned in the streets that we need to use now. You need to stop tongue wrestling with people. <laughs> hey, Roy, that, that's, that's what a lot of people want to do is just, just tongue wrestle. And so, so in this season, Joe, uh, we got to be ready. We got to be watchful that there's going to be a lot of tongue assaults. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how, how many of y'all know that uh, we say sticks and stones? What to, tell me that nursery rhyme. May wreck my bone, but words would never hurt me. Uh, let me tell you something. That was a lie. Because words can do you great damage. Yeah, yeah, some of us right now are struggling because of words somebody said to us. Not only what they said to us, but what they didn't or won't say to us. Y'all hear me? Because some of us are still missing somebody to speak into and over us. 
And so here, yeah, in this text, mm, yeah, 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 I want to slip you a scripture real fast. Y'all just write this down. Don't turn there. In Ezra chapter 4, verse 5, um, uh, we find out that there was counselors hired to frustrate your purpose. Y'all, y'all ain't. See, see, the contractor, he's going to hire masons, electricians, and plumbers to do that work. But on a kingdom assignment, there's going to be people assigned by the devil to frustrate your purpose. Hmm. The plumber ain't hired to be an electrician. So the, the, that demonic activity that you're dealing with with them, Roy, that's what they was hired to do. Our, our problem is sometimes we, we, we think that the Lord is going to show us the people that's going to be assaulting us with their mouth. It's going to surprise some of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard something that hurt, that hurt you that you never imagined coming out that one mouth? Y'all might have to change seats because y'all may be sitting by somebody that done said something. But, but sometimes, Randy, it's the people that we love. Sometimes it's the people that we trust that can use some very harmful words. And they don't always do it in a damaging, uh, direct way. Sometimes they're very sarcastic with it. Y'all don't want to talk right now. But, but let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go ahead read and I'm going to say something. Wait, Tavi. Tavi ain't here. It's his birthday. My, my little boy. Happy birthday today. If you, I get, amen. Happy birthday, Tavi. Amen. Just want to read that just in case I forget. Amen. Y'all don't want to smile. Can, can, can I, I, I ain't going to preach off that, but that boy, when he was born, we was able to put him in our hand. He was a pre. And y'all see how big he walk up here? At, at one time, he was wired up, didn't look like he would make it, but y'all ain't hear what I'm trying to tell you. And, and I'm telling you right now, despise not the day of small beginnings. It may look like you ain't going to make it, but if the Lord start breathing on you and start speaking to you, Lord have mercy. And let me tell you something. Everybody can't handle a little situation. See, Joe, we have a lot of visitors in because a lot of people want to watch and see what people are wired up to. And so when you're going through a stage like that, you can't have everybody putting their hands on you. You need those that ain't going to do nothing but breathe and impart into you. That's going to pray for you. That's going to love you. But if you bring the wrong person in there, they'll start bumping wise because they know your life depends on everything to be plugged up. And so I need to tell some of y'all, be careful who you're plugged into because some of them want to pull the plug on you right now but they want to go out to eat and pull the plug on you get your way out there let me let me let me read for y'all let me see because we just done lost our discernment late in 2019 because we done got tired and anytime somebody asks us something, we just say yes because we don't want them to say you're supposed to be a Christian. I'm a Christian even when I say no. Yeah, and so they thought to do me mischief. And that word that means they thought to spoil you, to punish you, or to break you down into pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody to be coming across your mind right now. Don't, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. But what I love about the scripture, they thought. And there's some stuff that people thought to do to us that God stopped. Mm -hmm. And I sent messengers unto them saying, I'm doing a great work. I read that before, verse 4. Yet they sent unto me four times after this sort. And I answered them after the same manner. So, Roy, that tells me that even though the enemy is persistent in what he's trying to do, I need to be persist, persistent in resisting what he's trying to offer me. Mm -hmm. It then sent Sanballat, listen, y'all, listen, listen, listen. 
Sanballat, his servant. So Sanballat them sent, came first, Roy. And he could do it. It said, then Sanballat sent his servant unto me in like manner the fifth time with an open letter in his hand. Chris, I'm going to tell us something right now. See, Roy, there's a way I can text you and it's just me and you. <clears throat> but these smartphones, we like to put group texts so everybody can see what's out there. Y'all ain't hear me. Let the wrong thing happen in the sanctuary. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people tuned in right now. They'll immediately post that. Y'all ain't. Yeah, yeah, see, they, they make it open. And, and the reason they make it open is because they are character assassins. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sylvia D. Stevenson began to pray on our way here this morning, and uh, she said, uh, Lord, we come against the whispers. Y'all know what whispers is? Y'all need the illustration? I'm, I'm finna talk about you right now, okay? Now, most whispering don't happen like what I just did. This is for illustration purposes. I'm finna talk about him, but I'm gonna talk about him in your ear, and he not hear it. That's a whisper. Any, anybody ever been guilty of whispering about somebody? Come on, let, yeah, yeah, let's get our, let's get our deliverance right now. See, 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 a lot of us ain't going to say that I'm going to talk about you right now. A am I right about it? And, and, and so what, what Sylvia said, she said, and I didn't, I didn't know she was going to pray that. She said, Lord, Lord we, we denounce the spirit of the whisperers. And, and Roy, as I was studying this morning, the Lord began to deal with me about our mouths. How, how many of y'all know this thing here can be rough? James say uh, this, this little thing can kill a fire real fast. And, 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 and this is what he said to me, uh, Hamid. He said, a, a lot of us uh, can't control our own mouth, and, and we want to try to control other people's mouth. Good God, y'all ain't hear me. You, you, you can't even stop from talking about people, and, but you want everybody to stop talking about you, Lord have mercy. How are we, uh, the people, yeah, praying for people to stop talking about us, and in the same breath, we just got through talking about somebody else. Am I right about it? If you can't, Lord have mercy, get God to tame your tongue, don't try to impose your will on somebody else's tongue. I hope y'all got y'all shout doing praise and worship because ain't going to be about three or four of y'all going to jump up in here in a minute. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so what happens here, it, it said that when the enemy heard that, that we were building the walls, listen to this, the, the enemy heard that the vision, listen, was coming to pass, that that thing that had been speaking out here in the sanctuary was coming to pass, that sand ballot them got mad. And this word here, heard, means he heard it intelligently. He heard it carefully. What I mean by that, have you ever had somebody bring you some news in and you say, say that again? I want to make sure I'm hearing you. <laughs> there, there are some people that don't even really believe that the Lord's hand is on you. And they're asking questions right now. And the Lord is about to prove himself to them that my hand is on them. And you heard what I said. Yeah, you heard. Yeah, yeah. See, but our problem is, Roy, the devil, yeah, want us not to believe that the hand of, oh, good God Almighty, the hand of the Lord is not on us. But I come to serve you. Notice right now that the spirit of the Lord God is up on you. Right? The Bible don't say down on you. It say up on you. That means upon you. You need to know that if I wake up and I have a bad day and the enemy comes in like a flood, that my God said the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard. So if you're dealing with stuff coming from the left, the right, the front and the back, guess what? The spirit of the Lord is upon you and there's a standard that's about to be raised. So stop crying about trouble.
people because he say weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It's all right to cry, but don't stop praying. It's all right to cry, but don't stop doing what you're doing. God have called you to a great work, and I come to tell you that the Lord wants me to tell you that my hand is on you and it's my good hand. See, it's something to not know the Lord with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And as your leader, I got to tell you something now. This is not arrogant, I just got to tell you. I, I was reading the scripture the other day. I think I signed it to Sister Donna D. She had just left the gym and she was going to Publix. Where she at? I, I, I say, in a great move, you definitely need to know that the Lord is with your leader. Y'all ain't going to talk to me right now. And, and Joshua, yeah, that's the word of, word of God over this house. Listen to what I'm telling you. Not only favor, it say, arise, Moses is dead, lead the people, right? Y'all remember all those words? And in Joshua 6, 27, it said the people knew that the Lord was with Joshua and the fame went all out. You need to be able to visibly recognize that the Lord is with your leader. So if you fall in anybody and you can't see that the Lord is with them, uh, I ain't telling you to leave your church. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. And, and so Nehemiah, yeah, Nehemiah in chapter 2, uh, verse 18, yeah, I'm going to give you some scriptures because I, uh, I don't want you to believe me. I want you to believe the word. Nehemiah went out and began to spy the work, and as he spied the work, it said he didn't tell everybody everything. I got the paraphrase. And for a while, he just began to look, and then he grouped them all together. He said, let me tell you. That the good hand of the Lord is upon me. And once you find out through evidence, miracles, signs, and wonders, yeah, and through the word coming to pass that the good and favorable hand is upon them, guess what? You need some stuff that you didn't believe or you didn't believe God was with them, you need to just get on in here and stay connected. Tell your neighbor, stay connected, yeah. See, a lot of us don't want to stay connected. No, it ain't because it ain't the leader. It's because you don't know you're supposed to be in a place, right? It's not because that leader ain't sure. It's because you're unstable. So it's not that you don't know you're supposed to be there. You know Lord, but the enemy is fighting you in your stability. Yeah, we got to uproot that being unsure stuff. Yeah, because if God sent, listen, no. if you say that the Lord sent you here, trouble ought not run you from here. Trouble being here ought to let you know you're in the right place. <sighs> we just. We just want to run through Roy and occupy. But the Bible says, from the times of John the Baptist unto now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violence what? Take it by, Take it by what? Yeah. And so what happened is say that the enemy heard. That word, that means shama. Where's she at? Shama. The word heard means shama. That means you're hearing intelligently, yeah. You, you, you play things out. You think them through. Amen. It's not that I just, oh, yeah, I heard the word. If somebody asks you 22 minutes later after you leave church and you can't tell them nothing, you ain't heard the word intelligently. You just heard the word and received it with gladness. You need to be able to talk to somebody about that word on Tuesday and Wednesday because the Bible tells me that when the enemy comes, he will hurry up, yeah, and try to steal that word, yeah, yeah, because you received it with gladness. Yeah, preach, 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 but come Tuesday when that word is tried, when the enemy trying to steal it, if it's not next, tonight, yeah, guess what? The enemy wants to steal it before it takes root. What you hear in the day is going to be tried. And, and not only is it going to be tried, some of y'all going to find out those tongue wrestlers around y'all that you've been given too much air time. What do I mean by the air time? You've been talking to them too much. What do I mean by that, Sylvie? Uh, if I know that they're just tongue wrestling, I know they just get me hot because of what they say. Some people, you need to just cut off. Lord have mercy. Yeah, my wife went and got an upgrade on her phone the other day. And the people told me, they say, you know, you pay for an app on your phone. It's called Verizon Filter. Yeah. It say it can stop some of that spam. Lord have mercy. And some of us need the Holy Ghost, yeah, to put a filter on us so we can stop some of them junk calls. Yeah. I know you know who's calling with junk but you ain't got enough grace to stop it so lord i need you to help me block it yeah help me stop and yeah they gonna see see sister little uh, about every two or three three days i got to clear my phone out 
Because even though you don't pick up the phone, they want to leave you a message. That'll sink in a minute. Would you please call me? You see me call, I don't call you. Yes, do you know if you called my phone 10 times, I saw you the first time. Because two or three times, I did an automatic reply that said, call back or I'm busy. And if I ain't called you back yet, somebody ought to get some kind of wisdom. I, I know y'all might be sitting by the wrong person right now. But if you keep calling the person, keep calling the person, and they never return your call, the revelation is they don't want to talk to you. You ain't got to fall out and have no hiss and fit. If they don't want to talk to you, don't talk to them. We, 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 we in 2019, big man, yeah, I'm going to tell you. In 2019, I, I, I pray for brothers, yeah. And see, brothers got a problem, too. Yeah, they want everybody to call them. They if you don't call them, man, that's all right. You ain't got to call me. I got a house full of children and grandchildren. I go in there and start a conversation with anybody. You got to learn how to talk to the one that spill quality in your notes. What I mean by your notes? In your voice. There are some people, y'all ain't hear me. There are some people that don't even value what you say, but you want them to call. There are some people that's waiting on you to talk, but you don't want to spend time with them. Let, let, me, let me show you how shy you come when I come from work. But I don't know what she'd be saying. She'd be in that baby. she just jump up. I don't know what she's saying, so I, I walk by two or three times, don't say nothing. But when I start heading, to that baby pen. And there's some people that's waiting for you to head to them with the word of the Lord. My kids, now this is a revelation. Don't jump like that. But the grandbabies jump. Y'all better, that's a revelation in there. See, in the church, once we grow up for a while, when you first get to a place, yo, you love pastor to talk to you. But once we start interacting with the wrong people, yeah, and get engaged in the wrong conversation, we forget I ain't no baby. I don't need him like that. You need that word still to come off the pastor's lip, just like you did when you first got here. I'm going to let all my grandchildren preach before I, so I sit down today. So, so what happens, Roy, is say when they heard, oh, uh, yeah, see, see, uh, Sanballat, Tobiah, and Geshem, Geshem showed up in chapter 2. You ain't going to pray, send ballot to buy it and get them away. They're going to help us grow. There's some people up in here that ain't going nowhere. But guess what? They're going to keep you on your face. Y'all ain't hear what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, God has allowed some people, yes, and has allowed your pastor to act what he act, the way he act, so you can pray for him. Yeah, there's some areas that, guess what? I need to be worked on, and you need to be worked on. So guess what? God allow us to be together so you can keep praying for me, and I can keep praying for you. It ain't God just going to move and see, we want ease. We don't want no thorns, but some of us need some thorns around us. Some of us need some people with some bad attitude. Some of us need some people that'll tell us something that they don't supposed to be saying on the church or the church ground. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They shouldn't be saying that at all, but they'll say it up in here. And you know why it bothers Roy? Because we still say some of, the, some of that mm, stuff. Everybody ain't speaking in holy tongues. Am I right about it? And so God allows Sanballat, Tobiah, and Geshem to show up soon as Nehemiah get to town. And they continue to progress in what they'll do. They got mad just because he said he was going to do right. He was going to look out for man. He was going to look out not just for trying to get a building, but he was going to care for the people. If you got a leader that care, cares more about a building than God's people, you are in trouble. Do you know how happy... I was coming to a trailer. Just as happy as Joker said, they got 20,000 seat cathedrals. 
See, I didn't come out here and say, Lord, there's a trailer. I said, Lord, guess what? I'll go in there and do what you called me to do. But there's some people that don't want nothing like that. They want something that's already set up. But guess what? You're not ready for that. You got to grow into that. Yeah. So if God keep us in the trailer, I'm going to preach Jesus and him crucified. If we don't never lay a block, I'm going to tell you for the wages, Lord have mercy, of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I'm not going to pacify you because of a building. I'm not going to compromise the sermon just because we're going across. No, we're going across because we're going to walk in truth. Yeah. A lot of people ride by because they say, I, I came out there but I saw a train. I said, that was the right place. You should have turned. Yeah, they said, well, I thought you said a church. I said, it is. Come inside. See, because even from the street, I learned that a lot of great stuff, big stuff happened in some trailers. Y'all don't want to hear what I'm trying to tell you right now. Some of the, yeah, some of your, oh, Lord, have mercy. Some of your mm -hmm stuff happened while you was in a trailer, yeah. Don't forget where you came from, yeah. You might be in that gated community right now, but you know, there's some of us that had some project house, some manufacturing house, and all we were glad when there's a roof over your head, and we got to get to the place that if we got to roll the windows up, we gonna bless the Lord. If we don't have no fan, we gonna bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall be continued upon my lips because when he first saved me it wasn't no air conditioner. I was locked up and locked out but now I got to tell the Lord thank you. I was locked up around a whole lot of locked up people and now that I'm free I'm going to bless the Lord. Yeah. I'm not wrapped around no bar wire so I'm going to bless the Lord. Lord have mercy. There's not no gun towers around me so I'm going to bless the Lord. So you need to look back from where God brought you and start blessing the Lord. Yeah. I can remember a time that that we used to go to Zales and A and just pick up a pair of shoes. But now we won't buy shoes unless they got a long name and a big price. But the devil is a liar. If I got to come preaching flip-flops, I preach Jesus and him crucified. Yeah, because I know him in the fellowship of his suffering and in the power of his resurrection. He didn't save me for name prayer because there's not another name whereby men shall be saved but the name of Jesus. So I promise you, I don't care how you walking now, it ain't that gonna get you you got to know him not just come to church but you got to know him you got to get intimate with him you I ain't talking about your mama you went to church but you got to know him that's personal Lord let me get to this text yes yes I got to go back in my mind them brown flip flops they made it 37 months and 16 days they matched everything they gave me Y'all ain't hear what I'm trying to tell you. See, we got to have red, blue, yellow, pink, brown. But guess what? There was a time when you just wore black shoes to church because you know black will mess everything. Now we done got so messed up that I can't go today because my hair ain't right. I ain't got nothing to put around my neck. I ain't got nothing to match that. The devil is a liar. Who you trying to match for? Are you coming to give him some glory? I ain't going to let it be to the point that I got to spend all my money to come to church. No. I want to meet him. I want to experience him. And if all that's going to get in the way, the devil is a liar. Paul, 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 Paul say, and be not conformed to this world. What that means? Don't be transformed. Don't be fashioned by this world. Don't be chasing every fad. You can't be like everybody because you don't have what everybody has. Have. I went into Nathan's. And Roy, you know there's a special section for people my size. And when I went around that corner, Sister Constance, there was a sports jacket. That joker looked like me. It wasn't shining, none of that radiant stuff. I ain't wearing that. Y'all know what I'm talking about? The Christmas ornament kind of stuff. I, I ain't your pastor not wearing that. If they want to wear it, they wear it. You know that shiny sequin stuff? Your pastor ain't wearing that. I don't care who wearing it. That's they been. That I ain't wearing that. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have Ain't going to be no slits in my pants. Pastor ain't wearing that. And I'm not knocking the one that I, I have made a decision that I'm not going to conform to everything the world do. Do you understand? And I saw that jacket. I looked at that jacket. And Roy, I threw that joke on me and that, the price messed around the show. And I slipped that joker right back where it was. You know what? Because I may wear it. 
but it'll affect my whole house if I put it on. People be saying, ooh, Pastor, I like your jacket. Ain't got baloney in the refrigerator because of jacket. For three people to say that look good. And because I preach so hard, I done sweated it up, I can't take it back with the receipt. And don't believe in that neither. Y'all ain't hearing it? If you don't want the people stuff, don't take it back. Just swallow. See, some of us, uh, Br Brother Stelzer, we want to wear it so bad to the galas and this and that. It looks so good. And you know you can't afford it to wear it for one day. Leave this people stuff in the store. Trying to impress us. Shoot. And then the people say, no. That's perfume. Not. And then you're in there getting out of character with people because you know you done sweated it up. I need this money back on my car. You needed that money on your car before you slid it. Stop sliding. Stop. Sl sl tell your neighbor, stop sliding it. We got to use some wisdom. My, my wife, nephew, Jeffrey, was barbecuing every day. He said, Pastor, you coming over tomorrow? I said, brother, I got to go wash cars. We got a light bill due. Y'all ain't hear what I'm telling you. I don't mind you barbecuing. You might not have nothing pressing for Thursday, but I got to put some soap in my hands unless the Lord do something tonight. See, I understand that I can't show up for everything. Y'all ain't hear me. If you can't afford to show up, don't show up. It's okay to stay. Man, I'm telling you, you got to learn how to stay home sometime and be glad about it. You pray for the house, and now you don't want to stay in your own house? The devil is a liar. If I can't rest and have a good time at nowhere, I'm going to have a rest and good time at 4030. Some of y'all going to learn. Shoot. I love to stay home and watch a game. Lay on my pillow, the bed. I can't do that at your house. You're going to be watching me. And so to kill that, stay home. And don't be calling them and seeing who over there. We struggle with that too. Feeling like we got to be a part of stuff and then feel, feel uneasy or not right when you stay home and they got somebody else over there. Maybe they can afford it. I'm trying to help y'all. And so when it said there was no more breaches, Roy, and that means they're starting to repair the gaps. In this place here, the Lord has started healing relationships. That's where we're at. There, are, there has been some holes. There have been some fallouts. There has been some disagreements. But the Lord is repairing the breaches. But even in that, Roy, the doors went up. And so Tuesday, I was over there at the, construct, uh, the contractor's office, and I was watching his, uh, watching his trucks. And been dealing with Steve now for about four years, about four years, three or four. And, and so what happened, um, this older white guy, my brother, about this short, came out and started talking to me. And Steve walked down and said, that's the pastor. He said, oh, this is the pastor out there of Smith Riles. Steve has introduced us to all of them, but he's releasing each one of them to talk to me one at a time. Watch this. He said, I built the house right on the corner when you turn on Smith Riles on the right. He said, I know. He said, so how far is the church? And so he began to talk. I said, so what you do? He said, I am responsible for the last 19 years for hanging every door that goes up for Steve. Y'all see Nehemiah said the doors went up. Y'all y'all catch it later. He, he say anything that needs to be trimmed with wood and a door, I'm gonna hang it. He said, I work by myself. He he trusts me, he don't he don't cut corners. And then I said, and so Steve said to me, he, Steve said to me, he said, he said, that is Alan. He said, Alan has been with me this long. And he just began to talk about Alan. And so the Lord said to me, in these doors, doors are rules. Somebody say rules. Doors set up boundaries. And 
restrictions, cut off access. So y'all know I ain't catch that revelation. So I went on Google, Sister Constance, and I typed in the Gap Band. And there was a song that they made that I keep yearning for your love. My heart keeps yearning for your love, you know, for your attention. And then it said, you just can't keep running. Y'all ain't catching. Some, some, Lord have mercy. Some of us got to put some doors up because we got too many people, Lord have mercy, running in and out of our life when they want to. And because you're running in and out of my life, yeah, when you want to, when you want to impartation or depart, and guess what? It leaves me hanging. Oh, good God. Mm. Y'all say thanks to Google, YouTube, and the Gap Band. But I promise you, you can't keep just running in and out of my life. That, that's all right. And so we got to put up some restrictions in our life that people can't come in when they want to. I don't need you this week, so I ain't, I ain't got no time to deal with you. But this time next week, I, I see you two or three texts, Lord. Talk to me, yeah. I see you two or three texts, and, and, and you may not respond. And, and then I see you two or three more texts, and then I start calling, and, and, and I make like I've been No, you can't just keep on doing to me what you've been doing. Is, is anybody in here got some people that feel like that they can come in and out of your life when they want to, yeah. And I'm going to talk to you, Joe, because I know you're a barber. Don't even let it. It bothers, bother you that if they come this week and don't come next week. If they come this week and come, don't come next, I'm talking to you too hard, Thor. Well, whenever they come, cut their habit, just make sure that they slide. Somebody tell them to slide. See, sometimes they only want to come because they're getting a discount. Stop them discounts and they'll make a decision. See, some people only deal with you because you give them a discount. I ain't just talking to the barbers right now. Some people just talk to you because you'll pacify them. You got to get to the point, yeah, that if you get mad at me, I'm still going to give it to you right, yeah. You can fall out and never come again, but when you leave here, you're going to say, that joker Dale with me right, yeah. He ain't give me no deal. He ain't give other people no deal. So I know if I go there, what I'm going to get, I'm going to get right. Somebody say, give it to him right. Yeah. Yeah, we be falling out with people. Because, <laughs> because they ain't coming to see us no more. Well, <laughs> as long as you keep on giving them favors, they're going to keep on dealing with you like that. And so it said, let me, uh, I'm ready to quit, Roy. It said, Sam Ballard said, come and let us meet. And so what the Lord began to show me right here is, in this season, you got to know how to say no. That's, that's not a hard sermon to preach. Just learn that I'm going to be saying no in this season. Uh, that got to that sink in for some of y'all. Be, oh, Lord, how many of y'all got children up in here? And, yeah, and see, some of them, we are, like, we're scared to tell no. They must be in here because I ain't getting a whole lot of amens right now. Uh, some of us are just scared to tell our children no. You got to know enough to tell them no that some things you can't give them and some things they don't need for you to give them. But if we conform to the world and we want them to be conformed to the world, we don't know how to say no. Because a lot of us are still trying to live through our children. So what is discernment? We know about the gift of discernment, right? In the streets, we say gain, recognize gain, right? There's some stuff you need to be able to pick up on because they're going to use the right words, but you're going to need to be able to see through their words. They say, come on, let's go meet in one of the villages. Now, you ain't been doing nothing but causing problems. Now, all of a sudden, you want me to meet with you? You, you just want me to meet by myself with you all of a sudden? Ain't had no heart change. Ain't did no repentance for what you did in yesterday's season. But you just want us to connect. We catching this thing right now? Ain't nobody getting uneasy, right? I'm just talking about the Bible. And, and, and so he said, come with me. He said, no. And so this word discernment is, listen, it's the ability to judge matters according to God's view. So what if they're asking you to do, Roy, if it don't line up with the word, say no. 
Discernment, it can help us escape some stuff. It can help us keep our focus. Mm -hmm. And so, because I know I've been up here for a little while, Now that Nehemiah has said no, and he continues to say no, not only the first time, but he said it three more times, they come with an open letter because they're ready to scandalize his name. That's rough, ain't it, Sister Felicia? There are people in here that's looking over at promotion right now. But there's also people that's on your job around you that when you're not at work, they're scandalizing your name. You know why? Because they know the promotion is yours. I'm going to tell you how to deal with it. Keep quiet. Somebody say keep quiet. See, see, the Lord, that sister, don't see her now. Tell you, I'm close. You, you, who? You looked all right, praise God. The, the Lord going to keep those people around you. Listen, y'all need to take notes on this. That has scorned you, mocked you, and picked at you. That have used you. He's not going to remove them. He's going to keep them close to the point that they got to be there when the manifestation of the promise comes. Y'all ain't happy right now. There are some people that you won't go, the Lord is not going to move them because he's going to prove to them that I was with them when they were saying I was going to make a way. I was with them when they were decreeing and declaring, and I'm going to be with them when you're watching, and they're sitting at that prepared table. The Lord said, I will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemy. So I'm going to bless you, but I got to keep them so close that they don't need no glasses that they can look up there and say, yeah, that's them. God done done it for them now. I heard somebody tell me this yesterday. Uh, I, I rode by the property. It don't look like nothing happening. But the Lord had some grace that kicked in. I almost told him. I closed it. I almost told him to meet me on the property on October Sunday. But the Lord said, be quiet. Let them keep rocking around here peeking. There's some people that's peeking at you. That's watch. Oh, shock. Yeah, there's some people watching you. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's watching you, worrying about has that came to pass. Guess what? Just keep on praising the Lord. Don't even address them because guess what? As long as you keep on saying what God told you to say it's coming to pass tell your neighbor it's coming to pass you can say what you want to say about me but it's coming to pass you can try to scandalize my name but it's coming to pass because I found out that I'm the apple of his eye I find out that eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither have they entered into the heart the thing that God have laid up Lord have mercy and prepare yeah for those that love him I'm one of the ones that he laid some stuff up is there anybody in this place that the Lord done laid some stuff up for you. That you're waiting for the promise to come to pass. You ought to wave your hands and let them know I'm still out here waiting on it to come to pass. You ought to wave your hands and let that devil know I may not be talking to you, but I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. And my praise shall be continually upon the lips. I'm going to praise him when you're talking about me. I'm going to praise him when you ain't talking about me. I got to praise him at all times. So you might as well magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. You need to get you some real partners that don't mind praising God with you, that'll praise God even in the dark times with you. I ain't talking about when it happened, while it's happening. Yeah. There's some people that God got around, around you right now that'll praise God with you in your dark place. I'm going to talk to y'all right now. And I hope the one of the big name preachers don't see this right now. Y'all ain't seen the amount of preachers that's going to want to come when we get over there. Y'all ain't hear what I'm trying to tell you. See, there are some people that's too big to come up in here because they can't see the vision. But when there's something over there where they can look like they got a pulpit and get some extra attention and network they call it in 2019. You know some cricket behind you be talking about, you ain't networking. You're just being cricket. You, we don't have to do everything in the church that they do in the world. We ain't got to have fundraisers, no. If we preach
preach the word, I'm telling you, God will put people in place to push this vision. And I ain't just going to keep on just telling y'all. I'm telling you right now, I got evidence of thousands given to me this week to sow into this vision. So I ain't just preaching to you. I'm telling you what the Lord doing for us. When you're walking up to people, yeah, just to wash their car, and they just walk out and smile, go back in their office, and then when you go back in the car, you about to swallow a Gatorade at the, oh, Lord, have mercy. I pray they weren't looking at me. I they was over there. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Didn't have no drama, but I said, good God Almighty, they dropped off in the sanctuary. They ain't have to be here, but they're sitting in here. Say God sent it to us. God got some people in place that value the work. Y'all ain't hear me. Didn't ask me how much we need. They say we value the work. Now I'm going to tell you something else. Let me tell you something else. And this ain't no one, two, or three. This God, God this comes from the hand of the Lord. And let me tell you what else the Lord said. The Lord said to me this morning, he said, Terrence, the reason that land is y'all at the sanctuary. Y'all want to hear it? Do you want to hear it? The Lord took me to an interview. Y'all, you, 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 you have to going to have to handle this. He had been saying no. Y'all know we had heard a lot of no's, right? A whole lot. And no's all right. If you just believe the Lord is saying no, but I believe the yes. Anytime the Lord show me yourself within the vision, the Lord, you got to do it because I heard what the people say. And so what happened? One Sunday, we had just got a no on Friday. The Lord spoke to me. He said, go to Mr. Sizemore's office. We drove down on a Sunday, went in there, me and Sylvia. Sylvia stayed outside. The Lord said, go by yourself. He said, Terrence, talk to me. He said, I knew you was coming. He said, I knew you was coming. He said, tell me what's happening. And I told him that we have outgrown this place and that we need. He said, have you looked around? I said, I don't want to move the lady over there. What's her name? Miss Barbara. Don't want to interrupt them people right there. He said, Terrence, you no, know, he said, Pastor, you have the heart of God, and you care about God's people. He stuck his hand, I say, I'm selling you the land. Not because y'all need a building, but because you care about God's people. Y'all ain't hearing this. Some people want buildings for building sake. We need a building for ministry. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm telling you. Uh, and, and Roy, it's okay. You know, Roy, I'm telling you, I, it, it's so okay. Somebody tell your neighbor's okay. You got, listen, you got to be able to screen stuff. Say screen it. And don't stop. Just, just screen it and keep going. Some stuff you got to be able to pick up and keep on moving. T uh, tell your neighbor, yeah. Even though you picked it up, don't address it, yeah. Stop tongue wrestling with people in 2019. The Bible said no weapon that is formed against you will not prosper. And every tongue, somebody say every tongue, that shall rise against you, he said, I'll condemn it. Stop trying to fight for yourself. Stop trying to prove people to yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to say this. Let me sit down. Right in this day and hour, it's too too many people in the body of Christ are trying to prove themselves to the wrong people. Stop trying to impress them people. Make an impact on the Lord. It ain't, it ain't dropped down yet. Because some of us, the way we're living, we're trying to impress the wrong people by trying to prove that we can do stuff. That season over. That, that, somebody said that season over. Roy, if it was just me and you here, I'd let everybody know I, got, I probably got on mismatch socks. You know why? Nobody was on my mind when I put them on. I, I don't go to the mirror thinking about the sanctuary like that. I love you and I want to be here, but I ain't got nothing to prove to you. Y'all ain't hear what I'm telling you. you. You need to know that what I come to do, I come to do the will of God. And if me doing the will of God don't impress you, it's not about impressing you. I want to hear him to be glorified. And I got to tell you this so I can sit down. So Nehemiah made up in his mind that I ain't coming down. And you need to get out, I ain't coming down in your spirit right now. And where do we learn that from? We learn that from our master, yeah. He made himself of no reputation. They spit on him. They talked about him. But he stayed on the cross. 
And none of us ain't being spit on. None of us ain't got blood coming out of our side. But we want to quit. The devil is a liar. Learn how to stay right there. Yeah. Stop quitting ministries. Stop jumping churches. Learn how to stay right there. Yeah. Learn how to hang on in there. When it get real dark. Yeah. I got to tell you what he say. If you be the son of God, prove yourself. I ain't got to prove myself. I'm proving myself by staying right here. Letting you do what you're supposed to do. You're trying to frustrate my persons, but I got a destiny. Yeah, I come to do the will of God. Is there anybody here that want to do the will of God? I ain't trying to prove nothing to you. You need to know that it's not about you. It's about him being glorified. Do you want the Lord to be glorified? You want to say, Lord, be glorified in my crushing. Be glorified in them talking about me. Be glorified in them scandalizing my name. Be glorified. And one thing about it, in three days, good God Almighty, in three days, is good God Almighty. I want to talk to some of y'all about three days because in three days, good God, and I ain't just preaching to preaching. In three days, I tell you right now, by wisdom, the Lord is going to invade your situation. Yeah, He's going to do something for you that blow your mind. And the Lord said to me at 636 this morning that I'm going to blow the sanctuary mind this year. Yeah. Yeah. Not only I'm going to blow the sanctuary mind, I'm going to tell you just how he said it. He said, I'm going to keep blowing your mind. I'm going to blow their mind. He said, if they're attached, the blessing going to keep flowing. Oh, yeah. We sing, everything attached to me when. Make sure you attach to the right person too. See, we, Ja'Kalen Carr, right? We sang it, but for everything attached to her win, to win, to happen, she got to be attached to the right person. And I know you believe in the same God that I do, but there's something called order. You're a partaker of my grace. What is it? I know you have an anointing. Paul said you are all partakers of my grace. So the favor, the good hand of the Lord that's on me, you need to experience expect it to happen to you. I expect y'all to walk in favor. I expect God to do some great amount of things. I expect people to get business out of here. But you know what? Well, a lot of people's business won't prosper. You know why? Because they don't want that blessing on them. How, how you going to get the blessing of the house and you're trying to sneak and do it? Let the man of God just breathe on it. I don't want the money out the blessing. I just want to breathe on it. See, that's something different right there. Brother, brother Aaron, Brother Willie Herbert, see a lot of people just want to do stuff. Don't want nobody to know. You need people. You need a prophet speaking in your life. But they ain't shouting right now, yes. You need somebody to shift heaven to earth in your life. You want me to talk to that spirit right now? Oh, I can do it. You probably can. And if you could have, it would be happening. Because God knows what's in your heart, a level of pride, that's why it's not happening. There's some people you just need to go to and say, Pastor, bless this. I wish we was had a Bible study said right now. I tell Hawthorne and Sister Felicia to stand up because all week there was people that was prophesied last week about their yes. And at Bible study, there was people that God just did everything they asked. Y'all can put your hands together. Uh, y all, y all, let, me, let me tell you how I know you can put those hands together. And, and you know he called me yesterday. I sat in his chair Friday. I'm done. I sat in his chair Friday. Had my card, paid him. OJ came with him. OJ was attached to him. His, that's another grandbaby revelation. OJ appointment was for Saturday. He jumped in the car and said, Granddaddy, can I go with you? I said, yeah. Because he was attached to Granddaddy. He got his hair cut the same time. It sounds small to y'all. Ain't nobody had to get up early. He got his hair cut. But this is another thing. Yeah. Right. So I'm sitting in the chair. I said, here goes the money for me and OJ. So I went to the bike. I said, yeah, what did your kid? Taking all these trips to the bike. He's straight. Not real or something. You know, I'm thinking. You know, I'm just thinking. He just keep going back there. He come back. He said, he shake my hand. He said, the Lord spoke to me about your 
wife. He said, this is for her, and I've already talked to Felicia. Mm -hmm. I say, this is for us. Mm -hmm. He said, he say, <laughs> I say, so I'm going to release it to him. Mm -hmm. Went home and released it to him. You know, I want to go and cut half. Mm -hmm. So, so recently, let me tell you what happened. This brother get to work at 8 o'clock the next morning. He said, somebody came in here and paid me for the whole month, mm -hmm. every week. Mm -hmm. He got everything. Back the, the brother was breathing hard. Y'all up on your feet, on your feet. I ain't, I ain't trying to play with you right now. I ain't trying to play with you. You're in the place of blessing right now. How many of y'all know y'all in the place of blessing? The Lord wants to do more for you. I'm, I'm not just saying stuff right now. The Lord wants to do more for you. It's about positioning yourself in the right place. Some of us are in the right place, but our mind and heart not there. And the Lord knows the intents of our heart. See, there's a lot of people that want to sneak in and get something and go. Uh, the Lord has an x-ray. It's not that you're not going to be blessed, but if you really want to see your cups run over, line up. What I mean by line up? You're not lining up on the pastor. Line up unto God. I saw something the other day, and the Lord wouldn't let me post it. I wanted to post it. You cannot be in right relationship with God without being in right relationship with your leader. Y'all don't believe that? That's not, worth, that's not worth turning around ten times, is it? Think about this. I thought Roy would have passed it before me. I really did. But the Lord crossed his hands. But even in that... He don't deal with me like a friend. He comes under willingly. Y'all ain't hear what I'm trying to tell you. We got to get to the place that no matter how long I've been saved, submission is willing, not forced. And for that reason, I get calls T. He's putting us in position to do this. He's putting us in position to do this. You, you, you know why? Because we're coming up under. Somebody say, I'm coming up under. I don't want you to say it if you're not. Because in this next season, the blessing is going to overflow the people that are under and are connected. Father, I thank you right now, God. Father, I thank you right now. Y'all stay right there. It's okay. It's okay. I know where I'm at right now. Thank you for the water. Lord have mercy. Jesus. Come here for a minute. This is what the Lord showed me. It's okay. When I was at Jerusalem, I poured past the hills water. I love to do it. I, I love to do it. The Lord said to me that because the way he served, he said there's going to be a promotion for you. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't like hearing what I'm telling you. The, listen to this. There's going to be, listen, there's going to be a prophetic impartation in him even right now. Watch, listen to what I'm telling you. I'm just going to say what the Lord said. I'm, I'm okay. I can pick it up. I'm okay. And this is what the Lord said. He said, when the people needed a word, you know what they said? I don't want no word from this. Only. They say, if he poured water on that prophet's hands, yes, that's where I'm going. So, Father, now, shake it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, God. Yeah. The trouble was necessary. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, he said he's taking you to a wealthy place. Jesus. Yeah, God. Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Stand behind it, Roy. Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God, do it, do it, do it.
Do it, God. Do it, God. Yes, sir. It's done. It's done. It's done. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shake it and no cosande it and no call. Yes, the Lord ain't forgot about you. The Lord ain't forgot about you. I'm talking to you right now. Yeah, I'm talking to every one of you that that the enemy played with your mind. The Lord ain't forgot about you. Your labor is not in vain. Father, I speak right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you begin to cancel the assignments. The demonic attacks, God, that have come against this body of believers in the name of Jesus, God. The marking, the scorning, God, the mental attacks, God. God, reverse it right now in the name of Jesus, God. Father, I speak that you will resuscitate your people right now in the name of Jesus. The enemy wants to beat you down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Your name from birth is the wise, enlightened one. Mid, yes, his hand is with you. Oh, yeah. As my eyes are closed, I mean, I see your hands up walking in victory. In the name of Jesus. I see victory right now all over you. Yes, yes, yes. Some of y'all just need to just to do your chest like this. Victory is all over me. You got to say it with conviction that victory is all over me. It may not look like it, but you will keep on watching. Victory is all over me. Victory is happening to me. Breakthrough is happening to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, the Bible say by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. You need to frame victory even right now in this atmosphere. Yeah. Yes, sir. Beauty for ashes for you, Colette. He said beauty for ashes for you. Beauty for ashes for you, daughter. Mm. And I'm gonna give you this last word. I don't know who this for. The enemy wants you to think that it's over for you. It ain't over. Your darkest days are behind you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Light is about to arise in that dark place for you. And you're going to spring forth out of it. With every eye closed, if you're in a dark, discouraging place that looked like defeat, if that's you, just slip your hands up. Don't worry about who's looking at you. Father, even his hands are going up now by faith, God. Father, I prophesy breakthrough for them right now. That you will make things easier for them, God. God, that you will release handfuls of purpose on their behalf right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord says some of y'all are thinking too low. The Lord says some of y'all are thinking too low because of where you're at right now. The Lord says I'm going to pick you up out of that place. Because I want you to think bigger and see me bigger. Father, I speak to depression right now. I speak to discouragement right now. God, right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, we plead the blood of Jesus right now, God. God, I speak to a victorious people. A people that's triumphing. A people that's overcoming right now in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, Woo. Yes, I'm just going to put my hand on your shoulder. There's some Josephs in this place yes, sir. that's been put on the backside. The Lord said, get ready to shave yourself yes, sir. because I'm finna call you to the front. Yes, sir. 
Listen to what I'm telling you. Don't think the enemy got you back there.